Hello, friends. Welcome to Linden Linthicum United Methodist Church. Our neighbor down the row on our townhouses got a new awning installed this morning. The back of our homes gets the direct sun in the afternoon, and it's just too hot to use your deck in the afternoon. We wanted to get an awning installed, and we requested from the architectural committee and the townhome community to be able to do that. And they said no, because uh, it wasn't what everybody else had. And so we accepted that, and we just don't use our deck in the afternoon when it's hot. But our neighbor got one today, and what we found out is that a few years ago he had made a request as well and had made another request based on the heat and not being able to use our deck in the afternoon, and sure enough, it was approved this time. So I started thinking about persistence and what happens when you persist, because I very often don't. I don't know about you, sometimes I give up. Okay, we asked about getting such an awning and they said no, so we won't have one. We have an umbrella and that helps a little bit, but that's not the same, but that's the way it is. And so I haven't really gone back after it again. And these folks did and something happened. In life, sometimes we take the first answer, and sometimes it's the right answer, and sometimes we should, but sometimes we should persist. And there is, there are stories in the Bible that suggest that that's what we ought to do sometimes. There's the story of the friend at midnight who comes banging on the door at midnight, and it says in scripture that the man got out of bed to go and help the person who was banging on the door because he was persistent. He just kept at it. Not so much out of love for his neighbor, but because he was persistent. There is the woman that was calling out to Jesus for help. And the disciples said, make her go away. And Jesus uh, finally spoke to her and gave her what she needed, gave her the attention that she was looking for, his attention, because she kept coming after him and finally knelt and just grabbed hold of his robe and called out to him. In the epistles, we read that we are to pray without ceasing, that we are to come to God persistently, not to be a pest, not to be annoying, not to say, okay, God, I'm not taking whatever answer you've given me, but just to keep in touch and to keep after that which is the desire of our heart. I don't know about you. You might not be like me, but I sometimes give up too quickly. Sometimes I don't keep going after something or keep trying to find another way to work at something. But scripture tells us that sometimes that's the right thing to do, to keep on keeping on, to keep being persistent, because sometimes God has ready to give us whatever it is that we're asking for if we just keep asking. Thanks be to God. Amen.